One of the hippiest neighborhoods in Bangkok, a bustling area packed with places to hang out anytime, all day, all night. And this is not like other areas in Thailand. You want to know why? Come with me. A quick shout out to you guys that nowadays friends from Thailand post two or three shots videos in TikTok and Instagram each day. The content that suit well in short form videos like my favorite coffee place and quick food reviews. We even summarize 10 minutes video into one. If you have Instagram or TikTok, be sure to follow us there as well. Hi guys, it's me again, Bam Bam, your friend from Thailand, and this is the episode of BTS Walk Around. And right now, I'm at BTS Tong Lo Station. And do you guys know that Tong Lo is a lively neighborhood with like 20 bars, cool cafes? And I took the exit one, and I'm gonna walk around the side of the BTS. And the station before this BTS is Prom Pong Station and the one next further to that side is BTS Egamai Station and we're just gonna get down and I'm gonna walk through this side and I'm gonna show you guys Sukhumwit Soi Hazita which is like a long soy. many things to do I'll show you guys to let you guys know that we are making these BTS walk around videos is for you to explore more and it's very convenient to come because you just get down the BTS station and there's so much size and so much things to do in the size and if you like considering looking for a place to stay in Bangkok so you can see more around these areas. Soy 55 because this soy is very popular and this district is very busy but there's a lot of things for you to do all day and night but it's quite like a high-end district so you can find yeah like local stuff like this but when you get deeper in the soy there's more like the bars and the clubs and cafes you guys, I already walked past this one because it was like right in the beginning of the soy but I forgot that this is a very popular place I want to recommend you guys. This place is called Mewari. They have like mangoes with sticky rice and it's very popular. They also have other kinds of desserts too. This one is like a mix of um, sticky rice with toppings on top. But you know, I told you that this is like a high-end place, so the price is a little pricey. If you like go buy this at a local market, it will cost you only around 70 or 80 baht, but it's 150 here. But it's very nice. If you come here, I recommend you try this place. In the beginning of the soy, it's more like local buildings with massage places, coffee place, and like a beauty store. Oh, and they have like food around here too. is like a grape farm let's go check inside ah, 
It's like a coffee shop, but they're closed. Sorry. Now I'm already walking in the middle of the site and the beginning of the site, there was not like really much to see, more like buildings with massage places or like clinics or something like this, a building that is not yet finished. There was not much food or anything like that. So if you wanna look around, I prefer you walking like deeper in the soil. And I tell you that the soil is quite deep and wide. I think this is like the widest street in Sukhumvit and a lot of high buildings too. I'm gonna show you guys this community mall called the Marche Tongla. Uh, they have a lot of stores inside with like a 24 hour supermarket. But they also have a food court, but I think the price of the restaurants or a dining place is a bit pricey. Let's check inside out. Top's market opens 24 hours but actually it's not like that big oh, oh it's inside too let's go for a quickly check out the design at this community mall is very creative and they have like mini zones like this one is like a food zone with a top supermarket and if you walk a little bit further inside there's like an outdoor space for you to chill out here you see like they have mini zones but I think this one is more like a beauty clinic not much like cafes but it's a nice breezy place for you to hang around. If you come up the stairs from like the front of the street, this is like a fashion zone. They have clothes. They also have wine too. But I think it's, it's not busy at all. I see like barely people. But they also have on top too, but... Okay guys, so I just got out from the mall. I walked back to this side and we're gonna walk a little bit further more to see the interesting stuff like the cafes and the clubs and the pubs and the bars because I'm still right in the middle of the street. like restaurants and they have food land that opens 24 hours inside too. This building is called Eight Tong Law and they have like restaurants and uh, food land that opens 24 hours inside too. The building outside looks very nice like a classy style. Let's check inside what they have. Ooh, the building smells very nice. There's a little bit of clothes, restaurants. They also have this famous boat noodles. I really like them. It's very popular in Thailand, but I think they only have it in a mall. They have the top floor and an under floor as well. Oh, I think under is more like a clothes and jewelry. 
it's not that big. They have many floors than I thought. And I walked in at the, at the G level, so we're right here, yeah, fashion and dining. Tonglo starts to get more lively and busier. You can see that many bars and nightclubs along the way start to open and they also have a VIP parking in case people get drunk. And if you walk along the way, you can see that they have a lot of quick meals to buy but these are kind of pricey because it's an expensive neighborhood as I mentioned. Now let's come along to the other side of the road. This is called J Avenue. They have three floors and here you can find fast food like McDonald's that opens 24 hours in case that you get drunk and you want to find something to eat. It's very convenient. And let's check inside how bars in Tongla looks like. It's luxury, the AC is cold, the music and the vibe is perfect. Celebrities and teenagers like to hang out around here. to the Sai which is Tong La. Sai 17 is a famous famous bar that we usually go to. We like the Thai teenagers because it has like a very good vibe and the beer is very good. I'm gonna show you guys. And this is the place. It's on the left hand side. This is called the Commons and the vibe is very good. It's more like a place where you can like chill out. There's no air conditioner, by the way. But I like to come hang out here with my friends very much because we get like to talk. The music is not loud at all. And there's like many places where you can buy your drinks and then you can choose a place to sit. So 17 they have like these food stalls out too. If you like you get drunk and you want to find something easy, they have papaya salad, fried meatballs. Okay, so I was gonna say that when I walk around, there's many cannabis places. Oh, the owner is very friendly. It's a bad, huh? They have many kinds of weed. The owner said the screwdriver one was like it's very okay for like someone who smokes around a lot. Yeah, beginners, yeah. This one is another famous spot that uh, I see a lot of people come, but I only been here once. I came to this one named Beer Belly. The beer was very nice and the vibe here, oh perfect. It's like a romantic, not too busy, but when I was here it was a little bit busy. Pilung, do you want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're kidding, we cannot, we have to work. Okay, I'm walking, I'm walking out with tears. Okay guys, so I've been walking in Tong Lo Sai 55 for like 3 hours and this 3 hours I just walked to the end of this street and 
I think this place has a lot of things for you to see and for you to do because it's very lively, it's very busy and it's like has a lot of tiny bars and clubs and luxury hotels and condos but if you consider to stay here, I don't know, it's all about your choice and your diversity because you know Tongla always comes with like a high expensive so yeah it's all about your choice but if you like this video don't forget to comment it down below and press like for us subscribe to our videos because we also have a lot of bts walk around videos i think we will put it up here and i'll see you in the next video bye